With Halloween in the rear view, one municipality is gearing up for Christmas events. The City of Hamlet has announced their schedule of the winter holiday. On November 29th, the annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony will take place in Main Street Park at 5.30 p.m. According to a press release, Santa and Mrs. Claus will arrive at the depot around 6 p.m. courtesy of the Hamlet Fire Department. The fire department will also be serving hot chocolate and cookies and music will be playing in the rotunda on the main floor. The gift shop will be open with gift items for sale as well. On December 9th, the Hamlet Christmas Parade will be a little different than previous years as it focuses on lit floats. The Parade of Lights will take place in the evening at 6 p.m. The press release says that the brighter the lights, the better the parade entries and trophies will be awarded based on creativity. A DJ will be playing Christmas music in front of City Hall with a commentator announcing parade entries as they go by, and food trucks will be set up across the road from City Hall in the old A&P parking lot. Commercial floats are available to rent. Entry forms are on the City of Hamlet and Hamlet Depot and Museum's Facebook pages, as well as for pickup at City Hall and the Visitor Center. On December 11th, the Old Fashioned Christmas on Hamlet Avenue will take place from 4 to 7 p.m. Hot chocolate, cookies, and hay rides will be on site, and Santa will make an appearance at the depot from 4 to 6 p.m. with Sharon Hutchinson playing music on the harp. The application period for the 2022 Youth Tour to Washington, D.C. is now open. PD Electric is selecting up to two rising juniors and seniors to represent the cooperative at next summer's Youth Tour in June. Applications are available in the guidance office of all area local high schools and are due by January 6. Selected students will be a part of 40 plus outstanding high school students from electric cooperatives across the state to travel to Washington, D.C. This will be the first youth tour trip to D.C. since 2019 as COVID precautions prevented travel last year. During the week-long trip, students will network with peers from across the country, meet members of Congress, visit national museums and historic landmarks, and grow in confidence and friendships. As part of the youth tour experience, participants will have the opportunity to win one of three scholarships. For more information, you can contact Megan Shaw at mshaw at pdemc.com or 704-694-7604. It only took the effort of their first three drives for the Richmond Raiders to sink Jack Britt during the first round of the 4A East postseason on Friday. Sticking to their script, using a fast start to score early and often, the number one Raiders kept up the pressure to sell past the number 32 Buccaneers 52 to 14. Richmond scored on each of its first five offensive drives and used six total positive turnovers to earn its largest margin of victory of 38 points in its 17-game all-time series against the Buccaneers. Jumping out to a 45-7 halftime lead, a touchdown with 3.49 left in the third quarter initiated a running clock. Including the regular and postseason, it was Richmond's fourth mercy rule win this season. The Raiders defense collected three interceptions and scooped up three fumble recoveries in the win, seeing four of those turnovers lead to points on the ensuing offensive drive. Richmond will look to take another step in the 4A state championship when it hosts Leesville Road this Friday. In the opening round, Leesville Road defeated Holly Springs 27-13. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report is coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. 
McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your Monday Live at 5 weather report. Hope you're having a wonderful afternoon, or should I say evening now, since we are now seeing uh, sunsets coming a lot sooner. Of course, with Live at 5 being at 5, we are now seeing the sunset dip right away, pretty much at the end of the show. Should be around 5.18 p.m. tonight. We'll have a waxing crescent moon phase out as well. Should be looking really nice out and about for the stars coming into play. We'll have a really nice view of the night sky tonight with clear sky, 6 o'clock. 59 degrees, 10 o'clock, 46. I can tell you that although it is colder out in this time of the year, the skies are a lot nicer to look at up uh, at the stars uh, this time of year as well. It should be uh, really exciting to look at them this year as well with uh, lots of events going on for uh, the night sky. Uh, looking at tomorrow though, we'll be seeing a lot of clear skies continuing onward with sunny skies across the Sand Hills region. We'll continue to see temperatures actually on the up and up as we'll see temperatures hitting the 70s for the high. Cumberland County, a high of 75 and a low of 46. Hope County, a high of 76 and a low of 46. Down in Robeson County, we'll be seeing a high of 76 and a low of 47. With Scotland County, seeing a high of 77 and a low of 45. Moore County will be seeing a high of 75 and a low of 44. Here in Richmond County, we'll be seeing a high of 76 and a low of 42. Over in Anson County, we'll be seeing a high of 77 and a low of 46. We'll have Marlboro rounding up the uh, forecast for tomorrow. High of 76, low of 44. Now as we look at the seven day forecast, we do got a little bit of chances of rain popping up at the end of this week. Uh, should be looking pretty good though for, before we get to there. Tuesday, sunny skies again, high of 76, low of 42. Then on Wednesday, a high of 76 and a low of 46. Then Thursday, be cloudy with a high of 72 and a low of 64 Veterans Day. Then on Fridays, uh, we do have that 50% chance of showers, high of 71, low of 46. And then on Saturday, a 30% chance of rain, high of 62 low of 36. Over on Sunday, it should clear up from those chances of rain as we'll see party cloudy skies all day. It will be a little bit cooler, however, high of 55, low of 37. And then we'll get into Monday, we'll be just on the cusp of hitting uh, 32 degrees, which is the freezing temperature. Uh, we'll be seeing uh, Monday a high of 59 and a low of 33 with a 30% chance of rain. So it's going to be very cold that day uh, coming up next week. We'll be keeping an eye on that as we move forward. But for now, enjoy that warm weather while you can. Uh, we have seen a lot of wind the past couple of weeks. Uh, I think March called and told November it wants its wind back. Uh, so I think it's gone now. I don't think we'll be anticipating too much wind moving forward uh, as well. So. Uh, enjoy the warm weather while you can as it is going to start dropping back down very soon. But that is going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.